One of the cool features of the Spectral Multiband Resonator's new firmware version 5 is the ability to control up to six VCOs using the envelope outs to send one volt per octave CV to the VCOs. This gives you, instead of just the six resonant VCOs of the Spectral, it gives you six additional voices that are all tracking to the same scales and banks. So let's see how this works. To enable this mode, you hold down the rotate button while you flip the switch to fast. You just have to be holding the button down while the switch flips to fast and the envelope output jacks will now output one volt per octave CV. The lights will be brighter as the pitch is higher and they get dimmer as the pitch is lower. So let's listen to it. This is channel four of the spectral. Um, I have the channel four envelope output, one volt per octave output, passed to the one volt per octave input of an anti-oscillator here. I'll bring it up in the mix. You can hear they're at the same note, they're the same pitch because I, I tuned them to the same pitch earlier. And they track. If you change the scale, they still track. You can do this over up to six times. So let me bring up the other six oscillators I have patched. Now, what we're hearing is all six, six VCOs. None of the audio of the spectral is in, it, we're listening to right now because they're all the sliders are turned down. We're just hearing the VCOs. I can adjust the timbre of each VCO. Different sounds, different VCOs, wavetables. And they still track. You can spread. You can change scales and banks, as I said. This is really a good way to use the Spectral as a sequencer or a chord machine. You just simply patch some CV into the Rotate CV, and you get arpeggiations. Now, this is still just the VCOs. We're not even listening to the Spectral right now. I can change banks. Still patch the spread. Now the spectral is still tracking, so I can bring that up in the mix so you hear it. So this is a really powerful way. Any scale I, I select, I can go to major scales here. The VCOs track perfectly. I'm using all the built-in uh, scale and tuning, chords, all that information built into the spectral to control up to six voices externally, which are also tuned to the spectral internal resonant voices. You can run audio into the spectral and it won't change the VCOs, so you can still use the spectral's audio path independently. So the morph control controls the glissando amount. If we just listen to the VCOs, if I turn up morph a little, you hear the pitch bend as they change notes. With no morph, they just jump from note to note. With a little bit of morph. You hear that kind of... Uh, Classic analog bass line. Smooth. If you flip the switch over to post, it disables it. Glissando on, glissando off. You can turn glissando up pretty high to get some kind of wacky sounds. If you want. Or leave it towards the middle, a little less than middle, to get a kind of more classic analog bass line sound. <laughs> 